Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are focusing on Kali, the new Kali that's updated uh, recently. And we have some sessions that are focusing on the Kali and forensic investigation. Like I'm going to teach you how to use a Kali for forensic investigation. So let's look at this. this today actually is June 14. That I'm recording this video, uh, 2024. Um, this week, actually, Kali released a new um, uh, VM, but a new version of a Kali. And I'm just downloading that one. Just give you a brief introduction of Kali. So here we have different version of Kali, like our version, mobile version, cloud version. And the version that I'm installing because I have I'm using VMware Workstation. But if you're using VirtualBox, Hyper V, or using GNS3 or other uh, hypervisor, you can use this kind of version. So I am using this VMware uh, like 64, and uh, this one is downloading here. Just uh, take like a few minutes to download this one. Um, okay, it seems to be done. So I I look at here to uh, look at the packages. Probably goes to download folder. So uh, this is my download folder. You see that the version, this version has seven zip. So if you don't have seven zip software, you can download seven zip. Um, I show you that. So you go here and based on your Windows operating system, usually 64, um, 32, you can download it here. And once you download this um, 7-zip, I have already downloaded and have it. So you go here and there is like a 7-zip software. Right there. You, you can extract that via. Then uh, you open VMware Workstation Pro, or if you have a VMware player, both of them um, can work with this scenario. So look, the, the location of extracted file is under downloads folder. So you go under file, open, and then downloads folder. So here you can, um, basically download the Kali and look by default is using two gig RAM, four core CPUs, 80 gig uh, NAT as by default is NAT. So it's okay for us, for our scenario. So I'm just starting this machine as a new version. They have added some specific features that you can read it on the Kali website, basically here. This version, if you compare it with the previous version, there's like a documentation here that you can look at this um, version and uh, a lot of feature added here. Okay, this is uh, uh, the new version of a Kali. So first of all, um, to like to know about the Kali, it's like based on the Debian, and um, like this one is terminal. This one is the browser that you can see here, and there are some tools here for pen testing, also for forensic. You see that there there are some for carving, imaging, and PDF forensic tools, slot kit, autopsy, so and a hash tip bulk extractor and build bin walk. These are some um, tools. And also we have some social uh, engineering software. Uh, so some of them for wireless attack, password attack, um, vulnerability information. So I'm just focusing on forensic tools and uh, because uh, we are doing here some stuff for forensic. So the password is Kali. Username is Kali. Password also is Kali. So make I make this user as root. Uh, so 
I want to show you some things. Like if I open this Firefox that we have here, um, this is like a practice with autopsy tool that you can also do it with the CSI Linux, but CSI Linux, it seems to be very uh, large file and all the time a student is struggling with this type of file. So that's why I'm recording a new video that you can do on so that kind of uh, exercise or assignment on their Kali. This is like a kind of uh, uh, shortcut that you can do it and it takes less time. Um, so uh, what you should do, this is like a website that we have for testing digital forensic. So basically you have some samples here and then you can bring on your operating system and test that. So for example, um, we are doing test a uh, number uh, for, the, for the JPEG file, actually. Um, so if you look at test number one for JPEG search, which is located here, actually. Um, and then if you download the zip file, so include a, a zip file that um, like it has kind of evidence so like we we collected this evidence and then you want to do a forensic investigation so like this is the dd file that we are working on it so the other tool that uh, we are using here is on the forensic we have autopsy so you enter the cali and then it's telling you okay under this um, like this URL 9999, you can access the autopsy. So you can type HTTP localhost 9999 and then port 9999 and autopsy. So then you can create a new case, for example, case number one. Usually we have a very good numbering description for investigation investigation of jpeg file investigator names so who's doing this investigation uh, so you put it here um, so then you create a new case add a host so that's not like your host now um, uh, name that you're adding for investigation time zone, uh, and the other items. So then uh, you add host, then you add image. So for adding image file, basically your image file is located here, CD downloads, right? Um, so if you do LS and CD8, JPEG, that's the path that we need for that image file, right? Uh, so I copy this selection here, paste it here, and then you have this file also under that folder. So I paste it here. So that's my, uh, basically this is the disk image that we are doing. Um, so, Important method, you see that we have simplink and copy and move. So I'm using the default one. Then you select the volume image here. And then if you want to calculate the MD5 integrity, you select this one. By default, it detected a C to be mounted to NTFS file. And uh, here actually, uh, uh, you reach to uh, this step, and then uh, basically, if you if you look at analyze, then you can uh, look at the file analysis for this one, um, like this image. And here you can see that, for example, on the recycler, there are some files like that. Also. Uh, um, if you want to see 
uh, like the other files here, deleted files like this JPEG file. So it's located here. Uh, this this is also another file that we have here. So basically, this concludes this video and um, how to investigate through the other. I hope this has been informative for you guys, and thanks for watching.